Alright guys, this is a review of my survival backpack, which I take when I'm like, just going out in the woods or going hiking or something. And so this is what, everything that's in it. Uh, in this front little compartment right here, I have... Just some hand warmers, a knife sharpener with a coarse and fine size for sharpening your knives, different size zip ties, um, this digital compass that my friend gave me. I don't know if you can see it, but has the uh, which way you're going, it has the temperature. The uh, time that uh, and it has an altimeter and a bar barometer. And if you guys are wondering, I keep everything in these little Ziploc bags. So in case like it goes underwater or something like like something leaks, it'll be safe. And I just have these like little single-use super glue things, tubes for uh like if you need to. Uh, Super glue your boot together, or like if you get like a big gash, super glue is actually pretty good to use. Jake, stop. And then I got different bandanas. I have a BDU one, and I'm not real sure, like desert camouflage. And I have a Sharpie. And salt and sugar shaker. Because I need like extra carbohydrates or some extra energy. And I have some sand sanitizer for sanitizing hands before you eat. Oh, Jacob, why'd you do that? Ow! Sorry about that. My little brother messing around with the light. I have these little water purification tablets. These are that, uh, these are the ones that clean the water, and then these ones just take care of the uh, taste. Pretty good to have. And then I haven't seen this in any other um, survival kits or like bug out bags or get home bags, but it's a squirrel collar for a, like if you're trying to hunt squirrels. I could just whip this out. Stop, quit messing with I didn't it. Touch it. Jeez. I did not touch it that time. I'm serious. Okay, but well anyways, like you could use this to um attract the squirrels and it actually does work. And I just have a whole bunch of uh different size Ziploc bags, like I have like a couple gallon bags, uh, a couple freezer bags. Real good to have these. Carry some water or something in them. That's it for the front part. And then next I'm going to do the side. This little bungee pocket. I just have some Jolly Rancher candies. Just need a quick little energy boost. And then these. This and this. I have strips of just like a white t-shirt. Drenched in a lighter fluid. In case it's getting dark and you need to make a quick torch, like you can just whip one of that one of those out and light it up. That should burn for like 20 or more minutes. So that's good to have. And I have a little like immediate fire kit, which has lighter fluid. Like that's just straight lighter fluid. Cotton that has absorbed some wax so that'll burn for like five or ten minutes and then this is just regular cotton I just keep that in there in case you need to light up a fire real quick to signal something um but I need to get a uh, like a light my fire fire striker for my kit I don't have that yet I need to stop by a place and get one of those but anyways I have in this pocket I have a sewing kit in case my clothes get ripped. 
I have just like a whole bunch of needles duct taped together. I have a whole bunch of safety pins. A whole bunch of safety pins. More safety pins. Some buttons. Some thread wrapped around some hard paper. And that's pretty much it for the sewing kit. Keep everything in Ziploc bags. I have this fishing kit. Has different size hooks right here, some lead sinkers, and some fishing line wrapped up the same way the uh, the thread was wrapped up. Keep it all in plastic bags so it doesn't leak or get leaked on. And that was in these side zipper pouches. And then in this side zipper pouch, I have a chem stick. Light stick and a uh, mini mag flashlight with an extra bulb in the end in case this one goes out. And then in this top compartment right here, I have I just have a trash bag and a Ziploc bag another trash bag because these are good for uh, they can make you shelter um, they can make pond